Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. CBN battling to restore Naira to its real values, says Cardoso. How to make North secure by leaders. Court rejects um, suit seeking to stop 16 Plato APC lawmakers' inauguration. Aida Tua picks Deputy Governor Sachs Exco. Government House Chapel Rao, Obasek Islam Shebu. No plan to move federal capital back to Lagos, says Presidency. And Afeni Ferry scraps Adibanjo's acting leader position. Four billion uh, Naira fraud charge caught Basil Biano from traveling out of Abuja. Which story are we starting with? What's major headline? Or like yes, I have, so okay, I have. Ma major headline. No um, the no CBN is battling to restore the value of Naira. Um, this came from the CBN governor. Olayemi Kadoso yesterday, he was speaking at the, um, it was, it was unveiling, the, um, it was, he spoke at the unveiling of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group and the Macro Outlook Report on, in Lagos yesterday. And the conversation was tied to the fact that the Naira is being undervalued. According to him, based on reports, the, the reasons for this might have been based on the bold moves that the president did coming into power by unifying the Naira rates, as well as um, retaking off the deregulating PMS, that's petrol, and that those things led to a huge shakeup in the currency, and that's what they're trying to do. So there's a current move to establish and um, stabilize the Naira, and this would, this would influence a lot of things. It will affect reduction of the fuel cost, and it will also contribute to economic growth, and it will boost our resilience. So the, there's a detailed breakdown on what the yeah. CBN plans I'll, to do. I also want to read that because I eh? need to understand it. I would like yes. to read that also. There's a detailed breakdown on what they want to do, but he, what I'm explaining is the far reaching effect and the fact that there's a consciousness of what led to the breakdown of the Naira value and the consciousness of the fact that Naira, Naira is not $1,300 to a dollar. It's not $1,000 to a dollar. It is all of the factors. Um, factors that are contributing and they have identified the factors. I, as someone that follows the economy, know they've identified it. And we're hoping that with the efforts to stabilize it, if nobody sabotage, sabotages them, they'll be able to bring the value of the Naira up yes, against, right. yes, to the right. Fantastic. So, federal, um, go ahead. Plato, yeah. this is, go on, go on. Okay, Plato, <laughs> no, Plato no, Assembly. So, the Federal High Court Justice Division yesterday refused to grant a request by PDP in Plato State to stop the inauguration of 16 APC candidates as House of Assembly. So, let me just see if I can give a quick background. So we remember um, the governor, they had gone to the Supreme Court and they had been, and his, he, uh, you know, and he was, his seat was, you know, he was returned as governor. Not that he was taken out, but, you know, his seat was verified that he is still the governor. I mean, um, Plat, um, APC and PDP had gone to court. Now, um, before he did, the, uh, the, the court had sacked the legislators from PDP, from that state, and it was based on the fact that they said that the PDP didn't even have a political structure, a party, a proper party structure <laughs> for them to have even run in the first place. So, but when the Supreme Court allowed that, um, um, verified that the governor's seat was still valid, mm -hmm. the PDP are now saying, well, if that works for him, then it should work for those who were previously sacked. Now, those ones, when they were sacked, APC um, um, members of the House, you know, automatically they got certificate of return and, you know, they were supposed to um, assume their seats. Now, to resume and to be inaugurated, PDP is saying, no, you can't come back because we've just seen that the court has allowed the governor on the same case as ours mm. to come back, so you cannot cool. be inaugurated. Mm -hmm. So we now have 16, 32 people for the same number of 16 seats. The problem is who really takes the seat. PDP right. has gone to court and saying, stop okay. them from being inaugurated, you know, mm. and uh, the, uh, the speaker is saying, well, I've been given, um, the court says that they can be inaugurated. So that's where they are. So they are at an it's impasse stalemate. right now, stalemate. Right. We'll see where this You have the same story right No, 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 no. My own story is uh, Obaseke has accused um, Shaibu of mischief. The, I think the government has closed the chapel for renovation. And he says that Obas uh, Shaibu, Obaseki, through his SSC, has said that Shaibu is stirring up public sentiment, political, uh, because he knows that uh, Ni uh, Nigerians 
They don't play with religion. And so he has used it to stir up the Edo people. There are, there are videos that have been circulating online of him uh, having mass outside while they are now taking videos that the chapel is closed. Mm. So uh, okay. the police are asking him to stop this mischief. <laughs> so, dear brother, our dear brother, the deputy governor, held an outdoor mass with some Catholic faithfuls, clearly showing that he is the mastermind behind the person circulating Tanga. the video and the accompanying false commentary. Mm. Wow. His actions seek to curiously authenticate their false claims. Why can we get that point? I, I, I just like to <laughs> dramatize <laughs> let me let you take no, your story. No plan to move federal capital back to Lagos' presidency. So... President uh, Boas Raju Tinubu is assuring Nigerians that the federal capital territory is not moving to Lagos. And people who are starting these rumors, which I think had come up prior yeah. to the elections, are just mischievous and we really need to just <laughs> seize and desist. Of course, um, you know, the FAAN moving to Lagos makes sense, right? The international airport is here. We want that office to be close to the industry that it regulates. Um, also parts of the CBN that are being moved to Lagos are really the ones supervising commercial banks, of mm. which most headquarters are in Lagos anyway. So um, the yeah. president is assuring us the government is not, not moving, moving to Lagos, okay. regardless mm. of what uh, people I, might I, be cooking yeah. up. There's also an international airport in Abuja anyways. But I actually listened yeah. to Ndume and I was, because he's someone that I, you know, I respect right. and you know, he, he's always challenging me. I, I thought that this was really out of place because it can stir up yeah. um, fights between the North and the South. Already there is so much mm -hmm. going on, yes. polarization in Nigeria. Now you are now it, it coming to. to start saying, because they are moving, like, why don't you move it to Nasarawa? Come on. Like, there was a reason. But, but, and how, yeah, how, how, it's how not a hot topic. I have my opinions, mm. but, you know. I wish it was about hot topic. I would like to hear your opinion. <laughs> you can hear it after the All right, show. Okay. So we have to uh, just take one more story before we go on a break. Um, so Afeniferi has said that um, they are scrapping the office of acting leader. Mm -hmm. The Ranger was last year named acting leader of Afeniferi uh, by Pa Ruben Fashanrati. So if you recall all the issues that happened, especially in the elections, where there was someone like a faction under Afeniferi, some were supporting a different candidate, while Afeniferi agreed to support a certain candidate. Anyway, so just to remove or hopefully remove this, this, this issue from happening again. So they have removed the office, that office that gave him the authority to go and follow somebody else. <laughs> they said that they are scrapping, that there's nothing like acting um, leader, office of the acting leader anymore. That's the story in a nutshell. Let me see how much time we have. Let's move on now quickly to the punch. Wow. Forex scandal, EFCC probes $347 billion fund Someone's foreign firms. Four billionaire theft, EFCC lines up 15 witnesses against Obiano. Ten Ibano explosion, victims still missing. Afeni Ferry demands state police scraps Adibanjo's leadership style. Undo Assembly screens new deputy governor as Aida Tiwa Sachs cabinet. CBN fan relocation, presidency orders tackle Undume. PDPLP asks questions on Tinubu's France private visit. Okay, which story? Take one story before we go to break. Oh, we don't even have time. Yeah. We're going to a short break. When we come back, we continue with the review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.